10-year-old Caleb Keener out of Colorado going head-to-head -head with the American beast Creedon Stubblefield Marsh decked out in red, white, and blue. Creedon's got his mom, Heather, here, but back home, the entire town of Ringling, Oklahoma is supporting him because they know just how hard he's worked to get here. I can't really talk well. I have an audio process process disorder, and it affects my ability of speech. Creedon has had nine surgeries on his ears, and basically his ears and his brain aren't quite connecting. He's not understanding the speech that you're saying. He can look for visual cues. He's got his little hearing aids, but Creedon was very, very, very shy. He wouldn't talk to others. It was devastating. Three, two, one, yes, sir. But now that he's been in Ninja for three years, he's so confident. I made a lot of friends in Ninja, and every time I get an obstacle, they cheer for me. Yeah! Our little town is so proud of Creedon that he's going on at American Ninja Warrior Junior that they're giving him a parade. Welcome to Ringling, Oklahoma. Ringling, Oklahoma. It is less than a thousand people. Everybody in the town treats Creedon like he's this little celebrity right now. Let's go, Creedon! My town is excited for me to compete for American Ninja Warrior. As mayor of Ringling, I would like to thank each of you for coming out to show your support for Creedon. It truly just melts my heart to know how much they care about one of our own. On behalf of Creedon, I want to say thank you all so, so, so much for coming and doing this for him. I'm really excited to represent my small town. So it's the little cat versus the American beast. Creedon's getting a visual cue to start. Should be a great matchup here. And Creedon, a good start. Yeah, running without his hearing aids has heightened his other senses like sight. He sees his path clearly. Oh, watch yourself. Really boosted his confidence. He's coming to his own. And we've seen that, Akbar, having success in something like this. Good move by Caleb Keener there. Little Cat, he is moving quickly. But here comes Creedon. Look at him keeping his L's really strong on Liquid Pipe, Matt. Well, Creed knows how to fight for sure. Oh, yes, he does. But well, Caleb is on the move. Matt, look at him go. Go, young fella, go. But here comes Creedon. Oh, Creedon's down, but look at that recovery. And Creedon's inching closer, but Caleb not looking back. Goes for the dismount, just got it. All right, here comes Little Cat. A keen run out of the Little Cat. Okay, Little Cat Ninja. <laughs> Meow. Yeah. And the American Bee scaling the warp wall. Yeah, come on, you got this. Come on, you got it. And Creedon gets his buzzer. Creedon Stubblefield Marsh back up to the start line, hoping for a win this time. Going up against Ryan Fahm, who won his first race. Matt, let me tell you something. These two are ninja strong, but Ryan has the fastest time by about 30 seconds. Creedon is going to have to bring it. There's the visual cue for Creedon. Strong start from both these guys. You know Creedon ain't going to let this one go. Well, pretty much in sync. Who's going to go for it? Oh! Ryan Fahm is out. The lunatic ledges strike again. Now, Creedon Stubblefield Marsh still must complete this obstacle. And if he does it, he'll get the win here in the second round. And he has done it. Oh, man, that's got to feel good for Creedon Stubblefield Marsh. He's now advanced to the final showdown. Man, Ryan felt the heat and went for the lead on lunatic ledges. But when he went for his big move, he missed the handle and splashed down in the pool. Amazing. You did amazing. Great. You're great. And Creedon shaving time off his first race. Ooh, this boy put the beast in American Beast. And here he goes getting 